Chatty Bobby 1130 Battle Rap Motherfucking Chatty Battle Rap Peter Gripon Just got out of another battle I think this is battle 6 We're, we're, we're scooting along Chicky 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 Look at pass Dan Rue in the building um, Thesaurus versus Caustic I'm a fan of both of these cats I just wasn't super hyped about this matchup Because they're cool with each other and I just knew there wasn't any, it was just kind of a, I've heard multiple people talk about it in the, in the predictions. It seems like they start, they put together the card for, for this and Caustic and Thesaurus neither had a match. So they just kind of put them together. Um, this battle was okay, man. It had a couple spots in it. We'll get into it. Um, it was, it was okay. I, I'd rewatch it again, but it's, it's. It's just not. It's just not that. It wasn't that great. Um, Caustic goes first. He starts off with a Kingdom Hearts line that was pretty cool. Um, then he starts doing face jokes with the Saurus. He did have a couple of clever, clever ones though. He said, "Look like you made a mask out of bacon fat." Oh, that was funny. And then he said, "You went down to eat some uh, some puss and it ate you back." Hilarious. Um, so that was cool. And then he said something about he has the he had a Mars surface like your. Uh, I talking about his car purchase. He said, "I'm, I'm pretty, you know, I'm congratulate you on that car purchase, um, but it should have been a Land Rover because your face looks like Mars surface." It was pretty funny. Um, then he had a poker line about not I mean, him being not a good dad. He's like, "You can't. How are you such a poker player, but you can't call or raise your daughter?" Which was cool. Um, he said, "He's got my bars cold like Otter Pops." I liked that line. Big Otter Pop fan. Um, he said, the poll will take your daughter's head off. Hereditary, one of my favorite, that was my favorite movie of last year. Well, second favorite movie. Creed 2 is my favorite movie last year, but that was a dope line. Solid round from Caustic. The Soars had a dope round too, though. He, he called him Caustic the wicked snitch of the West. Because, um, you know, Caustic's real big on get, doing personals and stuff. He said, uh, daddy's home, chaperone him. Siri, stop. Um, he talked about how we know you never put hands on a soul. Because was soul punched him or whatever. Um, can't keep secrets on some Vlad TV shit. Can't keep secrets, Vlad TV shit. That was a dope, like, multi. Um, if you hear anything that's mind-blowing, know that I wrote them. That was dope. I edged the source in the first round. Um, it could go either way. I give it to, to, to the source in the first. Caustic's second round was dope. He had a Charlemagne wallet chain line that was dope. He called. He said, "Pete, if you played hoop, you would play for the social social justice warriors." Because Pete's real big on Twitter about going at like political stuff. He's real, uh, like like democratic or whatever, like Democrat. Which I don't get into that politics, but um, he said, "Talk to you, talk to a bitch, bargain and chip." That line that was dope. And apparently, Pete and his gal split up. Um, so Caustic, of course, had a big girlfriend angle. Um, then he ended the line, the the round with a tragic phase like disastrous braids, which was hilarious. Crowd went nuts over that. So that was a solid round from Caustic. Um, Pete had a crazy rebuttal. Um, he was like me without a girlfriend. I'm uh, what's that mean? Uh, I'm focused. Um, and then he said, with you, you're not with a girlfriend. That means you're not, that means you're homeless. And it was nuts. It was a crazy rebuttal. But then he tried a second rebuttal, and then he lost his place and he choked, which was so unfor unfortunate. Because there's not really been any choke chokes like the whole night. There actually hasn't. There's been a couple of stumbles, but it was a pretty pretty rough one. Uh, he came back and did some dope stuff, but I had to give the round to, to Caustic by default, even though Pete had a couple of dope lines after that. He called Daniel Stefani the battle the rap uh, the battle rap Takashi. Um, had a couple of the cool lines, but I got it one one going into the third. Um, Caustic's 30 has several rebuttals that were pretty cool. Um, and, uh, he had a cool, like, multi-syllabic angle about Pete birthing, like, all these terrible, like, grind time rappers. Um, solid round from Caustic. Pete's third, he was kind of shaky through it, too. He had a dope, uh, E-Honda freestyle, because Caustic had, like, a E-Honda, like, shirt that he was wearing, and it was really dope. But Pete's third was short. He cut it short, and it was kind of shaky. Like, he wasn't getting through it all the way. It looks like he kind of forgot his stuff. 
which sucks because the battle could have been way doper. I give it to Caustic 2-1, but it's nothing outstanding. I mean, they both had moments, but Caustic got through every one of his rounds like flawlessly. Um, he clearly got it. I, I don't I don't think it's going to be debatable. Um, some people may say 3-0. I edged Thesaurus in the first round, but I have Caustic clearly taken rounds two and three. So looks like we're going to get Geechee and Head Ice next. Super excited about that. Or Disaster Danny. I'm sure it's going to be or Geechee and uh, Head Ice. So y'all be sure to keep doing what you're doing. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Love, peace, and hair grease. Woo!